Hello, I'm Korean Jacob with Highgate Ventures, and I'm really excited to be here attending the Expedia Partner Conference in Vegas. I'm here with uh, President of Homeway and a good friend, John Kim, um, and I'd love to definitely ask you some of the questions that you brought up in your session today. Uh, to start with, John, uh, welcome to the conference. Thank you, KJ. Again. And uh, to start with, uh, how, how do you see technology changing travel in t today's world? Yeah, that's a great question. You know, and I think about technology tra changing travel in like three ways. Uh, the fundamental first, the first thing that I see is that, you know, we're living in a society where we've seen basically this trend where people are disconnecting from the real world and, you know, getting closer to their phone. Um, a stat that actually startled me quite a bit was that 39% uh, of millennials feel closer to their phone than they do to any other, than any human person in their life. Wow. Yeah. And so that, that trend is not shrinking, it's growing. And so we are really raising a generation of people who feel completely disconnected from each other. Wow. And I feel like that's a, that's a real issue for humanity. And so as we start to think about what's the solve for that, what's the cure, uh, one of the things that we know helps, helps people is when they travel, they reconnect with the world, they reconnect with each other, and they recognize the impact of technology in this trend and that they actually make a concerted effort, a focused effort, to reconnect with people. And ultimately, we think that's a cure. And by the way, if they don't cure it, right. the big trends are they're more depressed, they don't hang out with friends, they don't date. Um, you know, and, and so, you know, that feeling of isolation, that feeling of isolation, I think we can solve it. So that's number one. Uh, number two is that there's this huge trend towards automation. Every CEO in the, in the world is obsessed with how do we automate? How do we take machine learning? How do we take AI? And how do we reduce the number of employees that we need to basically operate their business? And ultimately, that gives them global scale. <clears throat> and you know, if you start to think about particular job categories like truck driving, you start to look at lawyer, you look at accountant, you look at a number of jobs that you might say in the range, in the spectrum, from blue collar to white collar, they're all at risk. I read this Economist article that there's a lot of jobs that, like real accountant, that in the next one or two decades, there's an 86% probability that it won't even exist. Wow. And so uh, we know that, you know, an innocent question for a teenager today, which is, what do you want to be when you grow up? It is filled with anxiety. What I love about our category is that we're growing like crazy, and we see a real shift, secular shift, uh, in the economy where people are shifting away from buying goods and shifting it into experiences. I believe that that trend is not going to slow down anytime soon. Ultimately, getting together and having experiences is the ultimate luxury. And so that means that we're the job engine for the future. And we don't have an automation agenda. We have a delight agenda, and I love that. The third thing that I think is the you know, big impact of technology is that we're investing really hard, I think everybody is, in total automation to make the trip more frictionless. There's so many things that can go wrong. The technology, at the very minimum, can it just solve four or five problems? How about another one? How about another one? And we're at a point where the technology is so much more advanced that we are capable to make these trips just even easier. And so if we can do that, I just think that, uh, you know, for, for a lot of people, what you want is for them to travel more.